Welcome back to FM Story. In this episode of the Galatasaray Rebuild, we look to continue our good run of form in the league and we look to see if we can get something from the first leg against Barcelona in the Champions League. So without further ado, let's get going. Before we get into the action, if you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. We've got new rebuild videos every Monday and Thursday. We ended the last video after the Champions League draw um, and we've been on pretty a pretty decent run of form since then. Um, so as you can see from the league, we've everyone's played, well, we've played 26 games and so has Traps and Sports, we just played them in the last game. Um, we're 16 points clear. That game against Traps and Sports was actually our first draw of the season. Um, so we've, we've had a pretty decent run in the league there. Um, obviously, we've got the game coming up against Barcelona, the first leg of the Champions League knockout. And then we've got... We're through to the quarterfinal of the Turkish Cup. So looking at the games we've played since that last um since that last episode ended. The last game of the last episode was the Fenerbahce game. So we had a couple of um sort of hairy moments with Alanyaspor and Gaziantep in terms of um only conceding quite a few goals and winning four three and with a ninety third minute equalizer and winning four two, which was made to look more comfortable by a ninety third minute um Goal from Lorenzo Luca, which completed his hat trick. We then conceded one against Cognizant. We won comfortably five one in the first round of the cup. Then we um, put in seven clean sheets, six in the league, and won most of those games pretty pretty comfortably. Um, and then followed that up with a, a game against Sivasspor, where they equalised after eighty five minutes, and we required an eighty eighth minute goal to get the win. When then against Trabzonspor, we had a few players that weren't fully fit, so we took them out of the firing line before the Barcelona game, um, and it backfired, um, particularly when As Aspelan Oster got sent off, um, and we just didn't have the depth on the bench to be able to compete with Trabzonspor. Pretty much I, every one of Trabzonspor's goals was a header, um, and pretty much all in the centre of the area as well, so we, we kind of had a bit of an issue there. And then obviously we've got the next game coming up against Barcelona in the first knockout round of the Champions League. Um, the Barcelona squad is interesting in terms of who they've got. Um, so they've signed Milankovic. They've still got Frankie de Jong. They've signed Vindal. They've signed Mikalenko. They've signed Naby Keita. They've signed Luis Diaz. They signed Lewandowski, which they say have started before Lewandowski's transfer went through. Um, and obviously a bit like with when we played Paris Saint-Germain in the group stage, if you look at the kind of players that are not registered, so there's no Aubameyang um, in there either, in the, in the squad for the Champions League, it's going to be a tough game. Um, but hopefully with the home advantage, we can pull something out of the bag in the, the home leg. We've had a couple of selection issues for this game against Barcelona. So the main one is Fajuli is suspended. So Thailand's going to have to play in that deep line playmaker role. And um, Kerem's form just means he can't be trusted in such a big game. So Dennis Turek's come back into the team. Uh, we are missing Patrick Van Aanholt, who's injured. He's the only one that's injured at the moment. Um, looking at that team, it's going to be a difficult game. I mean, when you've got Likes of, I mean, we had Gavi the last couple of seasons, but you've got Milenkovic, Fatty, Jordi Alba all on the bench. And let's get the game underway. Give them an encouragement to start it. Hopefully the home atmosphere, the home environment can give us a decent start and Get the ball away from our box, please. None of this, please. That's better. Smiley to Turek. Marcao. Oh, thank God for Kiki. What was Marcao doing? What on earth? Sasha Boy brings the ball down the wing to Eunice. Kubo. A lot of ball. Yes. 
or slightly off putting that the linesman was stood there as if it was going to be a offside, but it's a lovely ball by Chicaldo. Just one touch, threads it through the gap, and there's Eunice just beating to Stegen at the near post. I feel like we're going to be chasing the ball quite a lot in this game. We're getting players back into the box to try and crowd them out, but we're not putting any pressure on the shots from outside the area either. Lost the ball in his there and they can break on us. Can we do something with this? Luca, Eunice that gun again. Oh! Just off the top of the bar. I mean, I'll take that at half time, 1 0 up. We've only had one shot on target. Um, we've had more of the ball. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it might be a case of bringing someone on for Dennis Turok on the left hand side. Do I trust Karen? We'll throw him on and see what we can do from the bench. Chicago. Did well to get into the box, but the shot wasn't particularly great. Lorenzo Luca looks knackered. It's more of a big question mark on that one, so. Crossing. Oh. Oh, so they've taken off Lewandowski because he was knackered. And they brought on Ansi Fati. Probably do with some fresh legs. So Luca off. Let's stick him Malibu on up front. In fact, we'll put him wide right and we'll bring Davis Ogley one up front. Oh. Can we play that ball? The ball was on into the middle, just clean through. Had to be offside. Can we nick another? Oh! <laughs> that was nearly the most bizarre goal. Come on, referee, blow your whistle. All in all, a pretty good performance. Um, and we take a lead to the new camp for the second leg. I think this is more a Bayern Munich situation for last season when we went 1-0, won the first look of the home leg 1-0 and then got hammered in the second leg rather than the Man United one. But we live in hope. And that's the end of this episode. Join us next time for the second leg 
against Barcelona. And we've also got some big games coming up in the league, particularly one against Besiktas.